Ladies, gents, welcome back to The Random. It's your host, Smallwood Worldwide. We're back again with another video. And today, we're going to bring you iPadOS 16.2 beta number one. That's right, ladies and gents. As you can see, it's the return of external studio display support. If you don't have an Apple Studio display, that's okay. You have external monitor support. But today, for the sake of this video, we're going to call this external studio display support support iPad OS 16.2 let's take a quick run through so first let's get an opportunity to take a look at how long it takes to load when you plug it in we'll unplug it as you can now see studio display goes dark we're now going to take the Thunderbolt bolt cable plug it in one two three and let's see voila there it is you gotta love it now Let's go ahead and open up some of the apps here so you can see how snappy it is. We're going to go straight up to the studio display. We'll start with Twitter. Let's open up YouTube. Let's go ahead here and open up ESPN and Safari. Very nice. And let's see, maybe we open up one more. Nah, nothing there. And you know what? Actually, let's go right here. Let us do this. Let's go here, scroll over. We'll open up Headspace. So now, as you can see, we now have not one, not two, not three, but four things operating in Studio Display World, which is pretty great. What I'm going to do is go down to the M1 iPad Pro, and we're going to open up yet another item. Let's take a look here. Let's go to one of Apple's natives here. Let's see what we get. As that loads up, let's go here. First, let's take a look at some resizing. So let's go back here to Twitter. Let's move this around. One of the things that you'll notice when you start playing around with the external studio display support is that number one, it's a lot snappier. I find that to be incredible that they started polishing it up this way and gives us a glimpse of what's to come. Let's switch over to YouTube. Look at the animations. Safari, back to YouTube, back to Twitter. It's pretty great, right? Now, let's do the four finger salute. Let's actually get rid of Headspace. Let's reset it. And let's go here. Let's open up pages. Now. We know everything that's new in pages. As you can see, you can type, hello, welcome to the random. I'm gonna use two fingers here so we know we know how to type. <laughs> All right, that's great. Now, let's go back here and let's go back here. Now, for the sake of this video, let's resize this window. Very nice. Let's go ahead and move pages here next to it pretty good let's resize that looks good so far we'll go over here move this over now we have it side by side pretty cool now one of the things i want to do is let's go ahead and make this a bit smaller there we are let's go ahead and bring youtube into the fold now what we want to do is take a look at how it's intended to be used, right? So we'll pretend that we're multitasking here. I'm not gonna press play on the video, but let's say we're looking for one. And you know what? Why not? Let's actually press play on one. Uh, let's take a look at what Marquez was talking about, but minus the sound. There we are. Then we come here, right? Then let's go down here. We'll click this open. We can actually resize this, as you can see. You're almost to that point of making it exactly what you want it to be, at least on the external monitor. I think this part is pretty good. Let's move this along. This is me. This is not Apple here. Let me try to get a good grip here. There we are. And just so you know, I have the magic trackpad. You can also use external mouse support for your M1 or brand new M2 iPad Pro. So no worries there. Let's say I want to move this along here. 
And let's say we really want to get into some serious multitasking. Let's move that. Let's take this, move this here. This is all in real times, by the way, ladies and gents. So if I wanted to move my Twitter feed over here and let's say take pages, let's pretend that I was going to do something uber important here and maybe I was going to take notes. There we are. Move that along and let's stretch that here. There we are. Now, as you can see, we have a YouTube video playing. In addition to that, we can take notes. In addition to that, you can browse social media. Again, so far for me, for this to be a beta, it's pretty buttery smooth. I think they may have a few things to iron out, but I digress. For the most part, it's very good, and I can see that it's almost ready to go straight to market here. Now, this has been the studio display, right? Now, we're going to pivot for a moment because you've seen my videos with multitasking madness. And if you haven't, take the opportunity to go view it. But right now, I want to take a look at Freeform, the new app from Apple that's like whiteboarding. So let's come right back with that. Welcome back, guys. We're here now. Let's take a look at Freeform. So Freeform is a new essential whiteboarding app and collaboration tool that Apple has released with this beta. 16.2 let's go ahead so as you can see i've already had it opened up because of course you would be greeted by a banner here you get all boards recent shared and of course your favorites let's go ahead and open up this untitled one from earlier today let's click on this aha uh -huh. untitled number two so that's i guess is how you write there let's go here and open this up I've never used Freeform, but you're getting a look at this for the first time. So let's go here. Unlike Apple's original um, Apple Notes, it seems that Freeform, you can kind of take notes and add things and make it exactly what you want it to be. All right. Very nice there. Uh, let's see what else we can add. Maybe we can add some shapes here. There we are. Actually, let's take that back. Let's go here. You can see you can kind of move around the entire screen. I actually like this a lot. Let's click here. Select. Nope, we didn't mean to select all. <laughs> As you can see, I haven't really played with Freeform yet, but this is pretty fun. Let's go back. I like doing things like this so you get a chance to see exactly how it works. There we are. We'll move this around a bit. Stretch that out, and there we are. Look at that. Now, we're gonna move this, there we are. Look, we're becoming a pro already. So, Freeform, again, a nice collaboration tool, note-taking tool, you can add photos, letters, take notes, um, create a whiteboarding experience, whatever you pretty much want it to be. Freeform, it pretty much earns its name. You can click up here by Untitled, and you can rename it. You can call it whatever you like. Let's just click here. We'll exit out, and we're going to call it This is a Test. There we are. I love it. And we'll go back out. And there you are. As you can see, we've successfully retitled it. We've successfully added a few things to it. I am going to play around with Freeform because it's going to keep me from purchasing a third party note taking tool. Although I do use Apple Notes, it's kind of limited, but uh, Freeform seems to be pretty good and live up to the name so far. So, ladies and gents, that is iPad OS 16.2 beta number one. Let me know what your thoughts are. I look forward to your comments and we'll see you again very soon on a new edition of The Random. Peace.